Hey friends, it's Katarina here again with a new video for Hip Kit Club and today I'm gonna be using the gorgeous, uh, gorgeous November kits uh, which are the exclusive uh, Merry Everything collection and this is actually the first time I'm gonna use these uh, beautiful kits because of some shipping delays you all know it probably these days so I'm really excited to play with these new goodies okay so today is Wednesday and it's a product focus day and uh, my focus for today will be uh, the color kit the stencils and uh, the tag die cuts from the pocket life kit so I have prepared um, or prepped uh, my background paper which is the textured white cardstock with a clear gesso because I knew that I was gonna add a lot of mixed media to it so I wanted to have a, some protective layer and now I'm applying some texture paste through one of the stencils uh, from the November stencil kit. Uh, I have uh, drawn a line or, or doodled a very simple triangular shape uh, that I'm now somehow following. I'm not going for perfection, I, I just want to have some uh, added texture on my layout. Uh, so I'm, I'm applying this texture paste just to uh, achieve this uh, triangular shape, which will in the end uh, resemble a Christmas tree. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Okay, so here I'm coming with uh, another uh, gorgeous stencil from the stencil kit, which are these uh, beautiful snowflakes. And I am applying, this time it's the Nouveau Glimmer Paste uh, in Moonstone um, shade. It's actually not a, not a shade because it, it has no color to it, but oh my god it's so shimmery so pretty i just love the effect it gives and it is also very um, easy to work with um, you can use it in many ways you can apply it uh, through a stencil you can just uh, smush it on things to add the shimmer to them so yeah it's a, such a gorgeous product and it's in the November color kit, of course. Okay, so here I'm adding uh, some more snowflakes. Um, I will add a couple more, like uh, single snowflakes here and there. Where are my uh, gaps on the background? And uh, I'm going to dry all, all this paste before I continue adding some color to it okay and here i'm showing you up close how beautiful the the glimmer paste looks all the shimmer isn't it gorgeous okay so here my um paste is dry and i have spritzed, spritzed some water over it and now i'm adding the nouveau shimmer powder in Jade Fountain, which is a like really beautiful, very interesting uh, shade of green. And uh, as you could see when I, when I showed you uh, the, the the background up close, you can see that there is a lot of other uh, pigments or hues in that powder except the green. So there are different shades of green. There is um, pink, even purple. So you can only use one powder and have really a uh, very pretty background with uh, multiple shades. And it, it really gives some depth to the background if you don't mix it like uh, you, you, you don't only add the color mixed with water, but you also sprinkle just some, some of the powder and spritz it with water on the background. Okay, so uh, I have um, applied actually several layers of uh, the watered down 
shimmer powder to have the color a little bit bolder and I really like uh, how, how it looks and I'm also gonna add uh, some splatters but just uh, really tiny tiny splatters around the tree we will see it in a, in a second And here is my background all dry and I'm going to choose a paper, a pattern paper. Uh, all the papers in November are uh, exclusive to HipKit Club, which means you can't buy them anywhere else. And they're just gorgeous, I love uh, all of them. And I'm going to cut them to stripes and create uh, something like um, snowy landscape maybe because this pattern paper was um, probably the closest to uh, a snowy look maybe so I have created um, this wonky edge and I will layer the papers so they look like uh, a snowy terrain or snowy hills yeah, I like how this is looking, so I'm going to uh, distress uh, the edges to give it a little bit more texture and also to make the edges pop a little bit because uh, it wasn't really very very visible before I distressed, distressed them. Mm. And now I'm going to add my photo so this is a photo of my son who uh, was really like he was so looking forward to having a Christmas tree uh, it was even his wish when I asked him what would he uh, like for his birthday which was in October he told me he would love to get a Christmas tree <laughs> so, uh, you can imagine how happy he was when we uh, brought our Christmas tree to our living room and he could uh, help decorating it so yeah it was a magic so here um, I pulled all the all the little labels and tags from the uh, which are included in the November Pocky Life Kit and I will use um, them not only for journaling but also for, for layering so if I want to use more of them I always like to use them as layers um, so I chose uh, these uh, blue, green and the yellow tags and I also like the labels a lot. I have uh, cut the little tree from one of the tags, from the blue one, because I'm just going to use uh, the little part of it that will be peeking uh, from behind my photo. And I really wanted to not, to not to lose the cute little tree, so I fussy cut it out and I'm gonna use it on my layout too okay so here I'm um, layering a bunch of uh, these pretty pattern papers um, behind my photo um, I think I used two two of them to add some pops of color and also to raise the photo a little bit from the background and I'm also distressing the edges a little bit and now I'm gonna mm, adhere 
my snow, <laughs> my snowy hills on my lay uh, on my layout. Okay, so here I'm figuring out how I will arrange um, the tags. And I like how, how it's looking, so I'm gonna adhere it. Um, again, I'm distressing the edges to add it a little bit of texture, and this is how it's gonna look. I know that I want to. Um, place my photo on the left side of the tree that's why I I uh, made the tree a little bit more to the right to um, give myself some space for for the photo and here in on this place I'm going to layer a bunch of the labels and uh, that will be my place for journaling as well as uh, a place where I will add or layer a couple more embellishments in a while. Okay, so I decided to go for exactly the same colors that I used uh, behind the photo on the tags. And now I'm happy with how it looks, so I'm, I'm going to adhere it. And of course, distress, distress the edges. And I'm gonna add this little tree to this cluster of labels. Okay, and now um, the fun part. Um, I will pull out all the beautiful exclusive embellishments uh, I knew that this was going to be my title because it was exactly uh, what, what it was the moment that I'm scrapping it was the Christmas magic so I'm going to adhere my photo first um, before I add the title Uh, working with uh, these exclusive kits, I mean, all the kits uh, are always so well combined that uh, they coordinate and work together like really well. But these exclusive collections are, are really something unbelievable. So you, you can use totally anything and everything from the kit and it matches and coordinates so well. Um, the only problem is like not to use literally everything on a single layout because everything is so cute. So um, here I'm using the, I used a um, couple of the chipboard stickers and now I um, opened this uh, sheet of cardstock stickers from the Pocket Life kit. I mean they are so so cute. I used a little mouse with all the Christmas lights around it and uh, now I'm going to choose um, a bunch of Christmas decorations and ornaments. Uh, these puffy stickers are I believe from the uh, they are from the Pocky Life kit if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And I used most of the tiny stars, puffy stars, and um, 
the little the twinkle twinkle the yellow circle it's from the uh, embellishment kit from the puffy patch stickers and here I'm going through all the all the pretty goodies and trying to decide which ones make it on my layout I really wanted to use um, a couple of these um, gingerbread cookies or how you call them <laughs> but they will not make it in the end uh, but I'm, I will use them uh, for sure on my other project because they're so cute so so pretty Okay, now I felt like I wanted to add uh, one of the cute Santas and I will add one in a minute. <laughs> and he will go to the left side of my photo. Now I'm adding uh, some more chipboard stickers and i also wanted to use this this mix of sequins that are in the um, main kit uh, they make perfect embellishments for my christmas tree they add a little sparkle and some pops of color i really like the, the combination of colors used in this mix This is a pack of uh, paper die cuts. They are from the main kit. And it's a gorgeous set of die cuts, I must say. So many pretty icons and uh, sentiments there. So this is the Santa I have chosen to, to use. I will also use that little penguin uh, decorating uh, the Christmas tree on the right side and also the, the red car with, with another penguin bringing the Christmas tree home. And for him, or for that car, I will create another another piece or part of this landscape I wanted to add another hill there to place the car so here it is and I like it even more with this edit piece to see if there's anything else I want to add I found, found some uh, smaller um, Christmas Christmas tree ornaments so uh, I decided to add those to, to the Christmas tree uh, because of the size and I think I'm gonna add those yeah, those uh, two jingle bells 
and now I found these super pretty acetate die cuts and I really had to use these uh, cute houses so I added them to my to my landscape on a couple of uh, spots I like it oh, yeah <laughs> and this uh, gesture meant uh, hey Katarina stop adding <laughs> things to this layout it's gonna it's gonna be too busy but yeah I couldn't resist uh, everything is so pretty yeah so now I think I hope I'm done here I'm just going to adhere everything Oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm now going to look for some perfect uh, embellishment to add to the top of my mm, Christmas tree. You can see it's still empty. And uh, yeah, this is the star I was looking for. So now, now I'm happy how, how this is looking. So now the, the more technical part gluing down, popping, popping up things, adhering things. So um, while I'm adhering things, um, I just wanted to say that I think that uh, the November as well as the December kits are mostly sold out already. Um, there is a new January kit that has been revealed a couple of days ago and it is so pretty you guys. Um, it's really gorgeous it's again an exclusive uh, collection uh, which is called dream big and yeah if you want to have it you need to hurry because these kids are selling out so quickly and if you want to ensure uh, that you get your kit every month um, definitely consider becoming a subscriber uh, that way you will also have the uh, add-on kits for a reduced price and uh, also you will have access to all the pretty exclusive cut files each month yeah so here as a finishing touch I'm adding the golden ma mustard gold I think it's called uh, nouveau drops uh, that are also in the color kit and here I'm showing you my finished layout. Uh, it will be followed by a bunch of close-ups for you. So I hope you liked uh, this video. I hope you liked the final layout and I hope I inspired you in some way today. And uh, definitely go check HipKit Hip Kit Club's uh, website. I will leave the link below. And uh, I hope to see you in some of my next videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.